Weather Rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Looking pretty quiet out there. Skies right now are partly cloudy across the region. Just some high clouds and nothing that'll bring any rain. Again, very, very light wind out there at this hour. Let's take you down to Colleen. Look at the beautiful shot we are seeing right now in Colleen, our live Centex Roof System Sky Tracker. It is on the rooftop of one Colleen Center. Uh, looking pretty good. Our temperature in Colleen's at 75 degrees. Our dew point 49. That gives us humidity right at 38%. You can see those winds out of the north and slightly northeast right around 3 miles per hour. Here's the newest and the latest, I should say, drought monitor across the area. Hasn't been much change. You can kind of guess that, right? There's the scale at the top there, the exceptional, the extreme, the dryness we have here, and definitely uh, still right on top of Coryell County there, especially the southern part of Coryell County, just south of Gatesville. Lots of red going on, even in McLennan County as we speak. We've got the orange to deal with too, so severe drought still in place. A lot of places are still about 15 inches below normal uh, for, since the beginning of the year. So we are minus at least 15 and a half inches here in Waco down toward the Brazos Valley. Still very dry conditions down there with the, the drought still underway. Matter of fact, the latest on the burn bans, you bet McLennan County under the ban as well as Bell County over toward Coriel, Olympasas, Mills, Comanche, Brownwood. Uh, yeah, you get the idea here. It's, it's very dry out there. Humidity has been low. Wind hasn't been bad, but uh, don't burn anything right now here it could be uh, easily get out of control and we've got temperatures at this hour in the 70s 75 in Mahaya, 72 in palestine 74 right now in college station and temperatures are about the same off to our west partly cloudy on passes 75 and 75 degrees in the Brownwood area. There's the latest on our satellite and radar. Still watching that flow out of the southwest kind of sending clouds up right across our region. Notice though not much in the way of precipitation. Had a few specks there. West Texas, a little bit more as you work your way into uh, New Mexico. But that's mainly about it. We've got those clouds on top of us, but we still don't have any precipitation, at least at this hour. Our future cast this evening and tonight, partly cloudy skies. We're going to see temperatures overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning slowly fall down into the 60s. So this morning we were in the 50s. We're going to be in the 60s tomorrow morning, a little bit warmer, but still not looking too bad. As we go throughout the morning tomorrow, kind of looking at a mix of sun and clouds across our area. Low to middle 80s in most areas, 83 Comanche, 85 in the Lampasas area, 85 down toward College Station. By the afternoon, you can kind of see another little batch of clouds move through. That's a weak front. What's the left of the front? It's not going to give us any rain, but a few clouds. We should be making it into the upper 80s to lower 90s. Looking good for Friday night football. It's going to be partly cloudy out there, but once the sun goes down, maybe a little cool out there. But hey, it's football weather, that is for sure. By early on Saturday, you'll be waking up to upper 50s and lower 60s. Skies again, uh, partly cloudy. And as we go throughout the day on Saturday, the mix of sun and clouds, temperatures climbing into the uh, upper 80s, I'd say, for a little bit. That'll be our high. Well off to our west, though, there could be some spotty showers, but unfortunately, none of that rainfall is moving in our direction. So we're going to stay high and dry. The farther to the west you go on Saturday, you might see a sprinkle or two. Tonight's forecast, though, partly cloudy skies. We've dropped to 60 degrees, winds out of the east at 5 to 10 miles per hour, and then a mix of sun and clouds tomorrow. Again, uh, there may be times where we're seeing a lot of clouds around. You might think, uh-oh, it's going to rain, but we don't have any rain out there. We're looking at temperatures still above average east to northeast winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. This is the Daniel Stark Long Range 10-day forecast. Nice on Sunday at 90, 90 degrees on Monday, but here come some changes. At least, I'd say, majority of the computer models right now are agreeing that, hey, we've got some rain coming our way. There's a few that don't want to say that, so we're not going to listen to them, are we? We're going to keep those temperatures falling down a little bit. We could see those upper 70s to around 80 degrees next Friday. So that might be a little optimistic, optimistic but wait, hey, we might happen, right? Those nighttime O's will stay in the 60s rather than in the 50s. And then if you are down toward Bryan and College Station, we are looking at, again, a hot and dry weekend here, partly to mostly cloudy from time to time. Maybe some rain in the forecast there by Wednesday and Thursday of next week, and hopefully some cooler weather by next weekend, as we'll see those temperatures maybe in the 70s and 